Good morning, my dear students. Uh, I really miss you so much. Uh, today we're going to continue our lesson of factoring the trinomial. Uh, yesterday we took, uh, we finished until this example. We're going to continue. Here he's asking me factor the polynomial x squared minus 11x plus 24. Okay. So first thing I ask myself, uh, um, does this expression have any uh, common number or variable I can take it away and then continue my problem it doesn't seem that they have any these three terms they doesn't have uh, they don't have sorry they don't have any common number or variable so I will go for my trinomial because it's not binomial as we said differences of two squares or differences or sum of two cubes okay because I have three terms Okay, so here it's factoring of a trinomial. The first thing I will have crosses my mind. If I have three terms, I open two brackets. I open two brackets. The first term of each bracket, I will write x and x. Yani I will open two brackets, then I will write x and x. Right? x in the first bracket and x in the first bracket. In the second bracket, sorry. Tamam? Then I will skip the second term and go for the third term of the trinomial. Yani I will skip the, the second term as if it's not, yani it's not uh, existing. Okay. And then I will go for the third term asking myself, what is the operation sign of the third term? Ah, it's a positive sign. A rule. As long as the third term has a positive sign, yib a the two brackets will have the same sign of the middle term. Again, as long as the third term, akhir term in my trinomial, have a positive sign, have, has a positive sign, yani a sign to plus, yibqa, the two brackets, I will write in the two brackets the same sign of the second term. Yani here minus, I will put here minus and here minus. Now here plus, I will put here plus and here plus. Okay? That is under one condition. Now the third term, its sign is a positive sign. Okay? Now I open two brackets. I write the first term in each bracket, x and x. Then I go for the third term. I found out that its sign is positive, so I will go for the next sign and then the sign of the next uh, second term and check it's negative. If I will put here negative and here negative, then what is the uh, what's gonna be the number at the second term in each bracket? I, uh, as we said before, I will write in my rough paper a table. I will draw a table. Okay. Then I will write the factors of 24, the last term. My, the most important thing in factoring trinomial is the last term. Yep, I will write all the factors, all the numbers, which I multiply them together, give me, uh, if I multiply them to, by each other, the, the answer will be 24. Yani all the factors of 24, starting from 1 times 24. Yani 1 times 24, 2 times 12. 3 times 8, 4 times 6. There is no other factors. If I multiply them together, the answer will be 24. Again, all the factors, all the factors which I multiply, all the factors, all the number, if I multiply them together, the answer will be the third term, 24. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. This in one side of my table. But what about the other side? The other side, I will write the sum of these factors. Yani just add them together. 1 plus 24, hey, dini 25. 2 plus 12, hey, dini 14. 3 plus 8 will give me 11. 4 plus 6 will give me 10. Just adding the factors together. Just add them together. Okay, Leba, why I'm doing this? Because which of these factors I will choose to put in the bracket? It depends on the second term. I want to look or I want to get the two factors which their sum is 11. Which their sum, if I add them together, the answer is 11. Type the first one, 1 times 24, but 25. La, this is wrong. 
دي مش انا دي اللي انا عايزاها 2 plus 12 14 لا it's not 11 3 plus 8 11 this is the answer خلاص don't complete خلاص يبقى I got the answer يبقى now the two factors which I will put here in the second term of each bracket 3 and 8 3 and 8 because their sum will be 11 Okay, let's go for another example in order to clarify it more. Here, factorize x square minus 9x plus 20. x square minus 9x plus 20. Okay, type. Here, first thing you have to ask yourself, phi common factor, is there in this trinomial or in this expression, is there any common factor, common number, common variable between these three terms? No. There is no common factor. So, خلاص. I will not put this into consideration. So, I will go straight forward to factoring a trinomial. Open two brackets. Immediately, I will open two brackets. Put the first term in each bracket, x and x. x and x. Then, go directly to the last term. Go directly to the last term. Which sign does the last term have? Uh, it has a positive sign. It has a positive sign, so I will go directly to the second term and check its sign. Uh, it's negative, so I will put in e uh, in each bracket a negative sign, minus and minus. Okay. You have a first step. Open two brackets. Write in the first uh, term in each bracket x and x. Then go for the last term in my problem. Go for the last term in the third term of my problem. Check its sign. Positive, يبقى, I will put the sign of the middle term. I will put the sign of the middle term. Minus, يبقى, حط هنا minus and هنا minus. Okay, then I will write, it, I will draw a table on my rough uh, paper. Okay, write all the factors of, أيوة, the last term. All the factors of my last term, which is 20. All the factors, all the numbers which I multiply them together, give me 20, equals 20. Starting from 1, again, starting from 1. 1 times 20, 2 times, uh, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. I believe there are no other numbers. If I multiply them together, the answer will be 20. I believe not. خلاص. So, in the first column of my table, I will write all the factors of 20. Type. What about the second, the other part? Uh, I will write the sum. The sum of these numbers. The sum of... These two, يعني each two factors, I will add them together. 1 plus 20, أيوة, yes, 21. 2 plus 10, 12. 4 plus 5, 9. Then I will go back to my problem. Check my middle term. Check my middle term. The answer is A, 9. Or the question is minus 9x, 9. So I will go in the sum, in the sum column, and check. Which one gives me 9? 4 uh, and 5. So I will write 4 and 5 here. And it doesn't really matter if I write here 4 and here 5 or here 5 and here 4. It doesn't even matter uh, which one you're, you're, you, you will start with. Either number you can start with. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, we're going to stop here because uh, our session is finished. And tomorrow, inshallah, we're going to resume um, uh, doing more exercises about factoring polynomials. Uh, inshallah, if you have any question, feel free to ask me or email me. Um, I will be here for you. And inshallah, tomorrow, see you. Uh, have a good day and take care of yourself. Stay safe, please. Uh, until we can meet, inshallah, very soon.